This is the new knife. I'll break the showcase down into several tiny bits, so check the chapters in the description to save your time. First off, the cost and upgrades. It costs 3550 VP and only 10 RP to upgrade to level 2. The level 1 animation is a generic sword animation, something like Glitch Pop level 1 or Sovereign level 1. The level 2 has the Tethered Realms dual wielding style animation. Something that is hidden in this collection is that there is actually a small motion here in the green screen element. It's not a static image, it does have some sort of motion. Unfortunately, it is not much prevalent. I really wish they made this feeling of motion more prevalent because it would at least make the weapon look more lively. Here's the knifing animations. Here's the pullout animation as well as spamming the pullout animation and uh, feels like a generic sword because it is like a generic sword and then the dagger comes out later. So the animation is not affected because of level 2. And here's what it looks like when you get it back from an ability usage. So when you're using the jet smoke and getting a knife back or something like that, it looks like this. Here's the inspect animation as well as spamming the inspect animation. The gun does not have a spam ability in terms of inspect like some other skins. But the inspect itself is pretty decent. Here's all the animations from the left hand perspective for the left hand users which many people have requested in the past. I hope it's useful. Still in sight. Now the graphics breakdown, here's some settings. I play on 1280 by 720 to make the showcase feel more realistic. There's a reason for that. And the showcase so far has been in low setting. If you turn the setting all the way up, the gun does have a glowing effect. You will notice it with bloom on and the glowing effect feels pretty nice to be honest. The quality of the texture of the green screen element itself, which is major part of the body, does not change almost. I think it remains the same. The only difference you will see is in the gun model textures. So when you're playing in performance setting, which is probably most of you, you're not losing much in terms of quality. So it's a pretty valued skin. Finally, here's the look of the knife with all the agent's hands. I'd say it's a pretty decent melee weapon. Using it, it feels lightweight like a sword, but it also feels new because of this dual wieldy style. The animations feel nice. The only drawback is that it has a green screen element which is a bit distracting when you're using it. I can only imagine what it would be like if it had a static image or something else. And yeah, I, th I think it's a pretty decent collection. It's just that the cost may not be justifiable. The knife itself, I think the cost is justified because of the level 2 animation, but that, that's just me. Maybe it isn't. This is also a unique animation that you see only in Tether Realms and it is yet to make it to any other collection. So this is the second collection to have this animation. So if you have this collection, you're one of the unique ones. And yeah, a detailed breakdown for you users who look at skins very methodically. I'll catch you all in the next one.